Hi, my name is Steve Sellers, and I appreciate the opportunity I have to share a few thoughts with you about operations. And I'm so glad that you're gathered together uh, in Hungary to take a look at how we can be more effective as operational leaders. My personal background in Campus Crusade was as I joined staff, I worked on a college campus as a new staff person and learned the ministry from the ground up. Uh, after several years of doing that, I became a campus director where I led the local uh, ministry and the local team. And after a while of doing that, I became the director for the area where I supervised other campus directors. And so my whole experience had been on campus uh, in a line uh, role. And then I was asked to take an operations role, to move to California to our uh, global headquarters at Arrowhead Springs and to become the national director of operations for the campus ministry. And that was a new role. Uh, nobody had ever heard of operations before. They had had administrators before, but not an operational leader. And so it was a big change to move out of the line and into a staffing role, into an operational role. But one of the best things that ever happened to me in my ministry was that decision, to move out of the line for a period of time, to give leadership and to learn uh, what it means to work operationally. I supervised the computers and the finances and communications, fund development, and those kinds of things. But it was that experience and exposure to other leaders and other kinds of functions in the ministry that I believe made me a much more effective leader. And so I'm really excited about the fact that you're in those operational roles and that God is using uh, you in those roles not only to minister to, to others, but to also to grow you in terms of your own leadership. And I just had a few thoughts that I wanted to share uh, with you about being an operational leader. And the first one is this, and that is uh, to think about yourself as being a leader, that your role is a leadership role. Uh, there are different kinds of leaders. Uh, Joshua and Caleb were the charge the hill, charge the hill leader who was going to go take the ground, and they were the take charge kind of person. Nehemiah, on the other hand, was more of a leader who mobilized others uh, for the task of rebuilding the wall. Stephen was a leader who primarily was asked to serve. And no matter what role that you're in, there is leadership components to that role. And so see yourself as a leader. It really doesn't matter how much authority you're given uh, by your national director or your uh, director of affairs. Uh, leadership isn't about authority. Leadership is about operating within the authority that you have to lead according to what God's given you to do, to be stewards of what he's entrusted to you. The second thing that I would encourage you to do is to think about the whole ministry and not just your part. Oftentimes we get tunnel vision where we're only looking at what's our part. And what God desires is that we take a look at the whole of what he's called the whole ministry to do. Because you're a leader, but you're teaming up with other leaders, line leaders, field leaders, to get the job done. So you need to be able to think not just as a specialist in operations, but as a generalist thinking about the whole strategy and the whole need. The third thing that I would encourage you to do is to focus on growing the capacity of your organization, of your ministry. And when I use the term capacity, I mean things like money and people and resources and tools and systems that leaders need to grow the capacity of the organization to do more than it's currently doing. The number one mistake I see leaders make is they focus on dividing up the little bit of resources they have to get the job done as opposed to giving attention, focused attention, to grow the capacity, to grow the resources. So as an operational leader, look for ways to grow the capacity, not just how do you spend it more effectively or more efficiently. What we want is effectiveness, not so much efficiency. How do we get better at doing what God's called us to do? And the fourth thing that I would encourage you to do is to build your leadership credibility. You can do that by educating yourself, learning, getting in environments where you're growing your own personal capacity to lead, where you're looking for opportunities to grow and to learn. And one of the ways that you build leadership credibility is to take whatever been entrusted to you and look how to be more effective. And so identify what are the top one or two or three needs that staff have in your part of the world and figure out ways to start meeting those needs. 
if you're meeting the needs of the people that work around you and under you, your credibility is going to go up. You'll get more authority. You'll have more resources. And God will grow the ministry that you're able to have. I appreciate the opportunity to be with you by video. I wish I could be there to interact with you. I just want you to know how vital your role is in moving the organization ahead. Our ministry will only grow uh, as we're effective in doing ministry and as we provide the operational support to make that happen. Thanks for all your efforts to give leadership in this arena.